All right, guys, here's a little hack that I'm going to show you. So sometimes you uh, put the vacuum cleaner against here and you bang and you scuff the walls on the steps. Very common for homeowners, for everybody. And sometimes you just want to patch it and touch it up. But you don't want to leave brush marks on the wall. So I'm going to show you a little hack here that's going to use a brush, but you make it look like a roller. So I'm just going to throw some paint on the wall pretty thick. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it in properly like you normally would. Again, this is a touch-up hack, right? So you get the paint on the wall. If you were just to leave it like this, you'd start to see all these lines. And that's not cool, right? Because in the sunlight, I don't know if you can see it now, but you see it in the sunlight, you can see the lines. Well, this is a little hack that I've learned over time if you only have a brush and you want to get that textured look. What you want to do is you just want to use the tip of your brush or the padding and you just want to pat it just like this. So you just want to kind of dab it. Now it's not perfect, but when you, when you do it in different angles, It gives it that textured look. Sorry for the shaky camera, but it's me handling it here. So basically, now it's got that textured look. And when it dries, it should dry a little bit more in uniformity with the actual coating that's there because we did use a roller on it. Keep in mind, it is a touch-up and you rarely ever get touch-ups that don't flash. So. That's the issue, the one little hang up with doing touch ups on the wall. Even if it's the same paint, it's painted at a different time and it might flash. Anyways, this is a hack to show you how to use a brush to get a textured look if you're doing a little touch up like this on stairs.